it's Alex here from iDesign. So I just got the Dubot Magician Education Package. Um, this thing is super cool looking. Um, it has Wi-Fi connectivity, it laser engraves, it 3D prints, it writes, it has autonomous programming. So it really does a ton of things and it comes with a lot of uh, accessories. So I'm excited to break this thing out and see what's really in it. Okay, so here we have everything that comes with the Dubot Magician Education Package. As you see on the left side, we have all the 3D printing accessories, it's an um, external extruder that actually mounts to the filament spool, and then the hot end mounts to the actual Dubot arm itself. Um, there's a build plate, actually comes with a spool of filament. Um, there's a game controller, a couple wireless interfaces, Bluetooth interface below that, and then if you see on the right side, those are all of your, um, you know, your pneumatic grippers, your suction cup, your writing head, um, and then you have the suction um, module behind that that actually plugs into the Dubot externally. The Dubot educational package should also come with a shipping list that shows you everything that comes in the box and then what uh, each specific item is going to be. This is also a good check to make sure you're not missing anything or you can get the wrong items. Alright, so this is the Dubot Magician in all of its glory and power. <laughs> it's a really sturdy, really heavy built machine. Nice heavy metal joints, really solid construction. On the back here, you just see the inputs and outputs, as well as the communication interface. And this is where you plug in all of your peripheral accessories and stuff that you know doesn't involve with the arm, but does help with the uh, certain end pieces that you're using. It's pretty nice too. They have all the ports labeled for the different end effectors and which one goes where. So if you're ever confused, you can just look at the diagram on the side. Alright, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is download the Dubot Studio application and then you want to plug in your power supply as well as the USB cable leading to your computer. Now right here at the Dubot Studio homepage you see all the different programs you can do. You can write code in Python, C++, or you can do it in simple graphical Blockly style which you know younger students and audiences are really going to prefer. Um, I don't have the laser engraving module, but that is something that's available with this. But I do have the 3D printing, the drawing, and the pneumatic gripper and such. The one I'm going to mess with right now, though, is just a mouse control, just to show you how the Dubot moves around its axis. Axes, I should say. So now if I hold the V key and move the mouse around, the robot is going to respond to my commands. And you can see over this arc of movement, as I move to the right side, and the left side, just a really simple way to see how the motion works and how the different joints operate. Alright, so now we're going to attach the pneumatic gripper and suction cup. So now we're going to go into the teaching and playback, and this is how we use our pneumatic suction. We're going to teach it a couple different points. It's going to memorize them and then reenact them in order. So we go up and we change our end effector to the suction cup. That lets it know what it's working with. So I'm going to start by teaching it the first point. Now another point. But just to go through the real quick simple steps I just programmed. The last functions we're going to talk about with the Dubot is just the simple write and draw function. Pretty self-explanatory. It shows you just the general field that the Dubot has to write in. Um, this is where you can draw anything, put your shapes, put your text, anything that you want to write can fit in this space, and the Dubot will handle it. You can input text and put shapes over here. And I'm just going to do an easy one. 
and just to test it out real fast. So now you hit OK. It's going to uh, show it on the paper. You can rearrange it. You can move it around, enlarge it, change it, add different shapes in your whole different design array. And then finally, when you're ready, you uh, download it and you just start the draw. Now, obviously, next time I'll get something to hold the paper down, but I think it turned out pretty well. So that's just an example of the writing application with the Dubot.